Yo, 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 it's your boy. I'm trying to do something different here, I think. I might be doing this from now on for class reviews or whatever, a gun review or whatever. But uh, just, I'm going to see which one I like better. I thought this one's more organized, uh, coordinated with the video as well, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Uh, we'll see what happens. So first up that we have here is the battle dress that you get once you ascend. Um, it's obviously, it doesn't really affect how you play, it doesn't give you more health. It's just for the looks, most, I mean, it, it looks pretty cool, I guess, but yeah, there it is. So this is like, cause some, some things can affect how you aim. And this is how it aims, it, it's pretty standard. Nothing really messes, the, the battle gear doesn't, it's not too bulky to where it messes up your aim. Aim, so yeah. This is the class I will be using for today in this little com gameplay I'm about to do right here. BAM! Now we're in the gameplay. So this is the first, this is my first uh, play multiplayer, what do you call this? This is my first little session I guess that I did, my first match of the day I just started for this video. Um, so wait, um, so we're kind of going to try to talk about the gameplay and talk about the Enforcer at the same time. So first off, the Enforcer. I'm just going to read off. With great strength, the heavy class specializes in powerful weapons. However, movement speed is slow, making this class less effective in close quarters. Kind of, you don't really see that in this gameplay, but see, look, that's close quarters right there. <laughs> don't climb up that pipe, ever. Um, this class is for average players, intermediate players, as it says. So right now in the gameplay, you will see I have equipped a uh, field report, which is a enforcer exclusive skill. I have field report two on, so you have the little radius of the e locator, but it's red, and that's just letting you know that someone's right next to you. Sometimes it can get confusing, like you think, oh, someone threw an e-locator, but it's really the, the, the skill. Don't. It's kind of hard to, to remember that, because I do that a lot. Um, that's just one of the skills that the Enforcer has uh, exclusive. The other skills that they have are Demolition. And I spelled Demolition wrong on my notes. I spelled Dema. Anyways, demolition, which makes explosives bigger. Um, three makes it to where the grenades explode on uh, grenades explode on impact, and two is basically Marty Dom from Call of Duty. You have tank, tank less explosive damage. Um, three, your health regenerates faster, and two, you take less stun damage, tranquilizer damage. Uh, and you also get the shield skill. Uh, if your shield, you can raise the shield faster is one. Two is you have better accuracy with your secondary pistol or, or submachine gun whenever you're running as a backup for the shield. You have better accuracy. And um, the third is you can shield bash people with it. I haven't tried it since the update, but I think it takes two shield bashes now to knock someone out. Um, but yeah, there's that for the skills that the Enforcer has exclusively. The guns. You get all the light machine guns, which are the UN AMM, which is probably the best one. I think I'm using it right now in the gameplay. Probably the best. It's the most accurate and it does pretty uh, decent on damage. The LPG 61, which is, I think, it has. Um, I'll probably put up some pictures as well. I'll show the stats of each gun. Um, the ALM 48. The shield is not a light machine gun, but okay, there's the shield. Um, obviously, everyone knows what the shield does, I'd imagine. The SVG assault rifle. It's an assault rifle. It's pretty slow, but it's pretty powerful at the same time. Right now in the gameplay, I'm changing my class because I couldn't use the LMG anymore. Um, you get the knockout mine for Enforcer. You get the, the non-lethal grenade launcher, the 
Grom 11, which is basically the RPG, and I think you get the M12 mine, which is the Claymore, essentially. Those are, that's as far, I think, I, I tried to see what was, I might be missing out on some exclusive stuff, but I thought that was the thing that is strictly for Enforcer that will impact your gameplay overall. Now I'm going to get into the gameplay and how I like to play with this and just some other stuff. <clears throat> okay, so usually with this this class, you might want to use Lethal Lane 2. Lethal Lane 2 will uh, make your accuracy better, which is a great. You must need that. You, you gotta have that. And because you're an enforcer, your weight isn't that good. So Lethal Lane 2, what it does is, it's for every class, it decreases the weight on all lethal weapons. And unless Unless you're using like non-lethal weapons, you go with um, non-lethal aim. But lethal aim, it decreases the weights on the gun, and you like it's like you get a little quick draw. You raise the weapon faster as well. Um, so right now I'm using the the regular assault rifle. Everyone gets my favorite. Yeah, I think you can see in the game here. There's some obvious like. This is where the enforcer excels in most health to where you, if you're getting shot at, you can do a quick, like, uh, turn around or whatever. Right now, I just missed that pipe. That, I hate when that happens. But anyways, when you're getting shot at, if you know who the person is, you can click, like, right here. I was getting shot at. Boom. I was able to take him out. He was an infiltrator, so he has less health. Less, less health. So that's why that, okay, this guy's getting blown up. I tried doing it again and it worked. It's the same guy too, I think. <laughs> again, gameplay here. Yeah. You know, gotta switch. It's, it's always best to have a secondary uh, pistol or submachine gun. Uh, pro tip, I'm pretty sure everyone knows this because you're in a, or maybe not. Uh, if you're out of ammo in your first weapon, tap square and you change, you go to your secondary. It's better than, than reloading if you don't have the time. And that's why sometimes uh, a uh, submachine gun can help. So right now, in the gameplay wise, I switch to my submachine gun because it has a suppressor. That's a pretty skilled move right there. Yeah. Um, Cause I thought someone was up here on this thing. Did you hear me slap my knee? Probably did. So, anyways, I play with the regular assault rifle, lethal aim. For second perk, because I usually use lethal aim too, that takes up two slots. And look at this. Ah. Okay. Um, I usually use lethal aim too. And because that's really it, I guess you could roll with demolition, demolition two. Because the grenades can help you in a pinch, and they they drop on impact. So it's Marty. No, they it Marty Dome. They if you haven't used them at all, they drop whenever you die. But right here, look here's demolition. Boom, they're dead, just like that. And if you notice, you've been noticing with this class, when I die, I drop a grenade. But if you use all your your three grenades or five grenades, would it be whatever you have? Um, look at this. See that? See how to aim? Accuracy? Anyways, if you still have a grenade, when you die, it, it pops out. It dies. It goes with you. But if you used all your grenade, if you used all your grenades, um, you just drop a magazine. It's not that useful. <laughs> but it's with, it works with every grenade, too, with whatever you have. Um, I usually roll out with this class most. You see a lot of people. You see that? I got a stun by throwing a grenade. I think I love when that happens. I got a stun by throwing a grenade and hits their head. That's a funny feature. I like if it did that. As I was saying, okay, match is over. I always, I obviously get number one because I play this game too much. Anyways, I usually always roll out with the enforcer. Has the most most health. I think that's pretty much one of the biggest things about this class that everyone likes it for. Yeah. 
that's pretty much it. Uh, just you still gotta play smart. Obviously, that health isn't gonna really do that much, but you still gotta keep that in mind. All right, All right we are back from the gameplay. I almost forgot this. Here are the weapons you get for the Enforcer class. If any of you guys are wondering, the ones I'm spinning around are exclusive to the uh, Enforcer. So obviously, all of the machine guns are gonna be um, exclusive. You can see their stats. That's one, that's the best one, I think. The good thing about the uh, light machine guns, I don't think I should, said it earlier, is that they do uh, more damage than an assault rifle, and um, they they made it better. If you they they didn't they did the update to where the recoil is better for light machine guns. So if you haven't tried it since the the last update, no, the November update. Then go ahead and use those uh, light machine guns because they're, they're pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Here are the skills. Uh, you can read the description, I think, but you'd have to pause the video. I don't even. Yeah, there they are. You can read the skills. Bam. That's it. All right.